Hello. Can you tell me exactly where on this Ken Tamplin hurt you? He physically, emotionally harmed you. Yeah. How did his suspected lip syncing and miming hurt you when he apparently did this in Ohio? This is not what you think it is. This is a thing for calluses. But, uh, Ken's a famous vocal coach. He got his initial fame from, like, the CCM, Contemporary Christian Music or Metal, in the 90s. He has taken a lot of unpolished uh, vocalists using his patented techniques and has turned them into great singers. Like uh, almost everybody on this channel he shows. Like he says, the proof is in the singing as far as his vocal academy goes. This shouldn't apply to what he has done at a concert. I have no clue if that was a free concert or a paid concert. But he claims that uh, it wasn't a mimed performance. Now, there's been dozens, if not hundreds, of YouTube channels. All of a sudden, these ones never knew Ken Tamplin before uh, Wings of Pegasus started piling on. So once Wing of uh, Pegasus went into Penguin Zero uh, moist critical territory and started piling on on Ken Tamplin, that's when everybody else started piling on. You now there's so many more people you could go after that are miming. Ken Tamplin, it's not even proven, really, that he did. The only proof out there is the proof that's in the singing that he delivers on the product that he's trained people. So, when you see these videos of people um, constantly berating uh, Ken Tamplin, they're just wanting to get clout. That's simply what it is. I'm not a fan, fan of Ken Tamplin's 90s music as I've never really sat down to hear it. Maybe one or two of the singles. But I have watched this series and have applied a few of those uh, principles that he teaches. They have uh, helped me somewhat. But uh, again, Ken Tamplin just point and let everybody know where exactly he hurt you. You weren't in his radar. He wasn't on your radar before these YouTubers started mentioning him. So how are you hurt by all this?